as I am one of their Majesty's champions, I decided I was going to try to write something in an appropriate form for Renaissance Poland. Something challenging. So I went and did the research and I discovered that the premier poets of Renaissance Poland wrote in blank verse or rhymed iambic couplets. Um, so, so here I have a, a very accessible but extremely period late Polish form um, about one of my companions behind the throne. I was conceived by a noble pair to bear them up as if into the air. My bones of wood and brass, bright gems aglow, with hair of birds to make a fearsome show. For half a dozen years I wandered far throughout the lands beneath the northern star. I bore a hussar bold into the fray. On tourney fields he strove long for the day where I might win my seat and he his throne while at his side his lovely lady shone. Till one fine May in Korsbog's crowded hall, he proved his worth in arms and bested all. They grew until in Ropecliffe's autumn chill, both knight and lady had at last their will. Two crowns of gold upon their heads now shine. His pride am I, and glory now is mine. I claimed a perch behind the royal chair. His Polish entourage installed me there. Thus at the monarch's back I made my nest. But as he moved, so never did I rest. We traveled much through forest, plain, and dale, to Caran Turf, Blanchmere, and Rudevale. All through the winter cold I watch have kept, while sun was rare and grass and flowers slept. And oh, the things I've seen from my high place, the deeds and worth of this great northern race. A splendid court attended king and queen, with tailored garments fair as ever seen. And those whose mode of dress had brought them fame, the crown did to an ancient honor name, a noble order formed of peacock's gold, each clad in harness fair from days of old, with rapier, sword, and bow, with horse and spear, while marking well their kin a worthy course. So many came before me, great and small, sweet words of praise and thanks were given all, and oft the king stood tall with sword in hand to share his speech with people of the land. A heavy tithe I saw sent to the pope, though great our sin, our faith and love gave hope. The powerful paid more than was their due to aid the lesser ones who were but few. Two mighty captains held a royal writ to guard the march as well as they saw fit. One sought the Swedes with spear from Drakkar's helm, one brandished blade on high in my own realm. Two noble ladies mastered well the word, such wondrous schools I've seen, such songs I've heard. The crown took counsel, listening with care, then marked them both the laurel wreath to wear. At winter's fading came our longest flight, in distant Glenavon we did alight. Beside Tromaris then we rode to war, six legs beneath me as in days of yore. Good William bore me bravely with my lord, our ancient noble mien was much adored. On rapier field was history then made, the royal house all four essayed the blade, and gave, they gave much thanks for gifts of skills and gear. The armored host of Norshield caused much fear. Their one renowned two pairs of warriors brave. The queen to each a twisted armband gave. A company out from the shadows came. For charity the crown gave due acclaim. Though of an ancient house, both strong and proud, before the, before the golden crowns they nobly bowed. Eight thrones before me did one eve appear, as Norshield's court was joined with Eldermere, a coronet for her who well deserved another such to him who both realms served. Both near and far the crown, both joy and light, took its good folk throughout the winter night. But now, while I behind gave splendor to their stage and watched the story grow that fills their page. But now the grass is green and birds do sing. I'll seek new fields with coming of the spring. I too must leave my nest as nature blooms. In warmth, I bravely molt my winter plumes. My feathers fall like tears upon <laughs> feathers fall like tears upon the crowd, and my king weeps his, of his great people proud. So brief our royal flight, despite its fame, I seek repose, as do my sire and dame, to preen and heal, regrow, recoup, and rest, to seek new lands and make anew my nest. But soon enough I will again take wing to seek my lofty perch behind a king.